Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss one numerical based on direct map technique. So I've already discussed what is direct map technique and how it works in one of the video. You can find the link of that video in the video description. So let's see the numerical. So this is the question. The question says that we are given some blocks of the main memory and they are accessed by the CPU in this order which is given to us. Okay. The question says first the block number 10 is accessed by the CPU, then 12, then 5, then 7 and so on. Okay. Or you can say the data which is present inside block number 10 is accessed first, then the data which is present in block number 12, it is accessed and so on. The next information we are given that the direct mapped technique is used to map the main memory blocks into your cache memory. So we have to tell that what are the final content of the cache memory. And the last information we are given is that our cache is empty initially and number of lines in our cache is 4. So let's understand this question in a better way. So let's say we have this main memory and we have this cache memory. So main memory is organized in form of blocks. So this is block number 0, 1, 2 and so on. So last block we have mentioned it as 12. Although we are not given that how much big is the main memory. So it can be like more than 12 blocks also. Okay. But that is not a very important thing to know for the time being. And here we have the cache memory which is organized in form of blocks. So the question says that number of lines in your cache are 4. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. So in direct map technique, how the main memory blocks are mapped into your cache memory. So direct memory technique says that your block number 0 of main memory will go into your line number 0. Block 1 will be directly mapped to block line number 1. Block 2 going here. And block 3 of the main memory will go into the line number 3 of the cache. Now after that, these 4, 5, 6, 7, they will go from 0 that is the fourth block of the main memory will go into the line number 0 fifth block will go into line number 1 sixth will go to 2 seventh will go here so that means cache line number 0 can contain block 0 block 4 block 8 okay and so on the same way the line number 1 can contain block 1 block 5 block 9 so that means your cache line number 0 can hold three blocks but these three blocks like b0 b4 b8 they will not be present at a time that means at particular point of time either b0 can be there or b4 or b8 okay all three cannot be present at the same time the same goes for the other cache lines okay so we have to tell these are the memory blocks that is these blocks so when they are mapped into your cache lines then what will be the final memory blocks which will be present or which can be seen into your cache memory in the direct map technique video i have to explain that how we can know that in which line number our corresponding memory block number will be going so the formula to find the cache line number given a main memory block number is we will divide main memory block number by number of lines in the cache and by this we will get a cache line number in which your given memory block number will be going so if we are having less number of blocks, for example, let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, then we can directly tell, okay, where in which cache line our memory block will be going. But if there are large number of memory blocks, then we will be using this formula to know in which line number our main memory block number will be going by the direct map technique. So I have written the main memory block number and the cache line number here. So these are the main memory blocks which are given in our given question okay and now we have to find the cache line number so we will use this formula so for the 10th block that is the main memory block number 10 where it should go in which line of the cache memory it should go using the direct map technique so it says we have to divide this 10 by number of lines in cache so how many number of lines are there in cache so there are total four cache lines 0 to 3 I will divide 10 mod 4 the remainder I will get from here it will be 2 okay so that means your 10th main memory block will go into the cache block number 2 so your block number 10 will be going here so I'm not writing b10 I'm just writing 10 okay now 
this 12 will go into 12 mod 4 that means remainder is 0 so 12th block of the main memory will go into this line number 0 so I am writing 12 this is the main memory block in the same way this main memory block 5 will be going into 5 mod 4 that is 1 that is in cache line number 1 our fifth block will be going okay so this way we can compute all the cache line number for these corresponding main memory blocks so I have written the computations here okay so now you can map the main memory blocks to the cache line number so seventh will be going into your line number three so seventh block of the main memory is going into the line number three now third main memory block is in the line number three again so it will be going here now you should know or i have explained that at a time only one block of the main memory can be present inside the particular line number so when three will come inside this line number 3 then 7 has to be gone that is it has to be replaced by 3 so it means 7 will be removed from here only 3 will be present now when 8th will come so 8th block will go into the 0th block okay or 0th line sorry so here 0th will come now this 12 has to go okay so currently you are having 0 5 10 and 3 in your cache lines now this 2 will go into the 2 so here 2 will come but 10 has to go right now 1th block is going into the 1th line okay so here now 5th has to go now the 6th will go into the 2 that is again here so this has to go now this 4th is going into the line 0 that is here so 0th has to go now last block is block number 8 it will go inside the cache line 0 so that means from main memory block number 8 it will going inside the line number 0 so line number 0 is here so this 4 has to first go now you can see we are done with our mapping of the main memory block into the cache lines and currently we are having these blocks into our cache lines that is 8 block then 1th then 6th block and the 3rd block so these are the final content of the cache memory after all these requested are fulfilled or after all these blocks are mapped into your cache lines okay so you can say your final content will be 8 1 6 and 3 in your corresponding cache lines so this is our answer i hope you have understood that how we have solved this question so if you have any comment query suggestion please write down into the comment box and please do like and share this video now let's move to our next question